Hey everybody, it's Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Welcome aboard. So right where I'm standing was where a pop-up camper was and I lived in it for about 18 months. Now connected to that behind me is my kitchen. And uh, when I first set up that kitchen, I had high ideals. I thought, oh, I could do little camp stove videos and show people what I'm cooking on a camp stove. And I realized uh, I am too Spartan to even video uh, what I'm cooking. Uh, it's not... Uh, uh, gastro uh, intestinal delight, right? <laughs> it's just an old cowboy out cooking on a old Coleman stove that's got crusties on it. Nothing looked new, nothing looked cool, nothing looked neat, but I use the kitchen. And uh, so a couple of days a week I go in, I have very fine uh, restaurants here. I'll talk about them a little bit as I do this, but uh, very fine restaurants that I can go and eat at, and I do about twice a week. The rest of the time I just use this camp stove, and I am so busy uh, that it, it just can be any old camp stove. But what I've learned, uh, and I knew this about me uh, already because I lived in Mexico a couple of times, I dig outdoor kitchens very, very much. Now, not the fancy ones that people uh, spend a lot of money on with built-in uh, refrigerators and all that. And the reason why is my experience on fancy kitchens, they don't get used enough, and then bees and uh, animals and rats move in. So uh, my, my uh, kitchen here will be very Spartan. Everything will be dry good cooler based and of course a camp stove so but let's talk about this a little bit i'm going to rotate you around show you what i'm going to get done today so uh i have two places where this camp stove is right now uh it used to be you know it had a pop-up camper there and then i got to thinking well the sky's the limit i could go ahead there's no reason why i have to have it here now that i don't have the camper here i said uh you know i could cut it out and uh I've got a picnic table over here. I could remove a couple of limbs. I could put the thing there, have it closer to my uh, uh, dwelling where I'm actually staying, right here, and I'd uh, be able to see it and all this and that. But here's the deal. My driveway comes in here this way, and Texas have what we call, in the dry season, sugar sand. So... Uh, uh, the soil just turns to this uh, super fine powder. It is like uh, um, sugar, say it is just like powdered sugar, uh, but it's dirt. So I'm thinking uh, the cattle, the horses come in, they stir all that up, traffic goes there. I think I want to be as far away from the dust as possible. You can see here on my tractor just from driving around, right, all the dust. So uh, now this didn't stay clean, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> You know, it's an outdoor kitchen, but it uh, it stayed better than that tractor. Like this thing's been out a week, my little pizza oven. And you know, it, it's just got a little layer of fine on it, but nothing like it would there. So I've decided to stay here. And uh, what's gonna happen eventually when this thing is earth bagged and stuccoed is there'll be uh, walls that'll come out here and there'll be a main gate to the courtyard back here. Uh, you know, it'll be real pretty. So I think that maybe I want my kitchen here. So let's go ahead and, and keep it here. I'm going to clean up this area. I'm going to turn that one into a dry goods uh, container. This Yeti, I'll, I'll stay as my uh, regular cooler. I've got a couple other more just conventional igloo coolers there that I use for water. Uh, there's my camp stove. Like I said, I thought, oh, I could do camp stove videos and people would want to watch that. No, they won't. I, I, I did a couple of them and I went, man, they're just, I don't know. I wouldn't even watch them. Uh, I've got a little uh, palm washing, you know, to wash up. And then I use that for my garden. Nothing fancy. Again, it's a cowboy kitchen, right? An outdoor cowboy kitchen. So uh, if you're here for a high design and an outdoor kitchen, it's not. This is my personal journal on what I do and how I spend my days and why it's taken me as long as it is to uh, build this house of mine. And I'm moving forward uh, a little slower than what I expect. Anyway, this is just my journal entry today of me doing that. But welcome aboard, and you're welcome to watch. Uh, lastly, uh, where the... Uh, 
uh, where you see the horse trailer out there, that's going to be my, when I get my logs cut, that's going to be my staging area for the roof. And I'm going to build the roof low there first, number all the logs, and then put them up. So uh, this is a good little spot for me to have a kitchen. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I've got about another uh, 10 days before any rain shows up here in Texas. So, you know, I hope to get all this stuff around. Let me go ahead and uh, uh, start cleaning this up. And, and uh, you're welcome just to hang out. I'll play some music, do some stop motion, things like that. All right, everybody. It's the next day. I'll snap or clap or whatever. Time has passed. So uh, I got the canvas up. I'm going to put a separate video up on that because it would be cool if people would save those, uh, you know, instead of just throwing them in the trash every time. And it improves the uh, wearability by using a better canvas. So uh, anyway, uh, this outdoor kitchen. Uh, well, mm, <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to do some changes on it today. I'm going to put you on stop motion. Uh, I do use this kitchen, uh, even though it's dusty and whatnot. I'm just an old cowboy out here. It doesn't matter. Campfire stove. But uh, anyway, I'll put you on uh, stop motion and bring in some tables, clean things up, get things squared away. Um, you know, just make it functional so that's what my goal is with this thing uh, also i put it in the same place because uh i'm thinking about in the master design where the kitchen will end up being we'll find out All right, so I'm gonna call that uh, time to do a wrap-up video. I still got stuff I'm gonna do, but let's take a look here. So the pop-up camper was here, and uh, afterwards there are blocks and all kinds of trash. I cleaned this up uh, pretty good. I'm keeping that tarp because I'm going to clip it on here and do a wrap around on two sides to kind of keep the dust and animals away, I think. But I have all my coolers with, uh, that'll be dry goods in the middle. And there is, uh, you know, my uh, cool beverages, outdoor grilling equipment, a little uh, table, another cooler over there with water in it, a camp stove, a wash-up basin, extra propane tanks in here. There's extra propane tanks. There's a bottle opener right there conveniently. 
nothing fancy but uh it's it's uh clean straightened organized and you know i'll head that way with the whole cleaning project and get all of that organized for the winter uh feels pretty good all right so uh i thought i'd make just one big video uh, but the canvas top, I think, is an interesting video by itself. So this is Steve signing off. I made an outdoor kitchen area using a canopy and I found materials. And, uh, um, you know, I do eat here. So uh, four days a week I cook in this little thing. I know it's wild. But uh, like, subscribe, follow me along. Thank you. Bye.